Like for example, I am vegan, I'm caloric restriction, and yet, you know, if you hear those stats, and I also do low protein. And so if you hear those stats, the, the cultural norm would be like, oh, he for sure is broken, weak, not capable, not athletic, not strong. But in every category, like my cardiovascular fitness, my actual physical strength, all my metrics are top 1%. And so we've defied the cultural norm of what is good health, right? how you achieve good health. And so I know this is probably true for others as well, is many of the things we believe are probably not true. And so I'm soft also <laughs> that I, I've learned that people have a justification for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just no way around it. That's, that's humans. And so I don't try to resist it. Just say like, great, do your thing. Just measure your data. Because we know the stats, like for example, if you're not sleeping well, your other markers are going to be off, like your SB, you know, SB100, uh, like all these, all these markers are going to be off. I invite, just look at the data. What are the data driven insights of poor sleep? Like what really is going to happen to you you already told us what happens after one night of sleep. What does it look like when you have seven nights, seven months of bad sleep? I mean, like, if you notice, like I did this, uh, my company, Kernel, we built this brain interface, this wearable fMRI. 